granite. Uh, fellow, uh, his, his player, Andre Ingram, celebrated a birthday earlier this week as well. So all good stuff. Celebrating birthdays. Hopefully for South Bay, they're celebrating a win, their third of the season tonight. They come into the game two and one, Oklahoma City at four and two. McClung, as he normally does, takes the first shot of the game. This one off the mark, and here comes Oklahoma City. Trey Mann, very good last night after getting sent down to this blue team after starting the season with the Thunder. Here's Jay Ford into the bucket. Good contest by Jay Huff. Both teams empty on possession one. Getting some good looks. Both teams are getting good looks there. Stanley Johnson was knocking that shot down in his pregame warmups, but uh, that's the one that he really wanted to go in because those are the ones that go into the books. Maladine. Oh. Off the mark, Johnson able to come through and get the rebound. We saw plenty of energy from Stanley Johnson last night, showing a little bit more of that here tonight. McClung for three. Got you. And that right there is Laker basketball right there. Pushing the ball downhill, making an extra man have to come and try and contest and finding an open shooter. McClung just standing on the line, knocking it in. As a player, AC, what are some of the challenges of playing a back-to-back? -back? Oh, well, it really, it's more better the next game. What did you like about playing in back to back? Um, because I love playing. I just wanted to play. I mean, we should have had 82 straight games in 82 <laughs> days. You know, I mean, it's it's a lot of fun just to compete and have uh, a time to go out there with your guys and try and make something happen. Here's Huff. Under 10 left on the shot clock. He can take the three. Him and Wilson went at it plenty last night. Huff. So, Huff there for the Lakers, and I think it, it was um, <laughs> Wilson, Wilson for the Blue, and they were they were mixing it up pretty good. I loved it. We'll keep it on number 30 in purple and gold, and number nine in white. See what the two bring here tonight. Nothing on that possession for South Bay. Still holding that slight three to two lead. Two minutes into the game. Man, good closeout by Pierre Louis, forcing a mid-range jump shot from Wilson that's off the mark. You'll live with Wilson taking those shots. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. McClung off the screen, stop and pop, five straight for Mac McClung. And uh, he's showing his versatility as well as his scoring ability at the same time. Uh, inside, outside, a little floater right there over Wilson, did a great job getting it in. They, were, they could switch, as we call it, switch gears and uh, get to that defensive intensity. Can they start earlier? All those things are yet to be seen. In the first three games this season, South Bay's got off to relatively slow starts, you could say. They're trailing each of the first three at halftime. Were able to come from behind and win two of the first three, luckily. But it'd be nice to get off to a hot start. Offense a little slow out of the gates for both teams. Only two on the board for OKC. Trey Mann looking to change that. High off the glass and in. Great, great finish right there. Trey Mann showing his handling abilities right there. But getting that shot over Huff was not easy, folks. Not easy at all. Brown Jr. with the floater. OKC is going to say he took that off the rim. Shawnee Brown says, now I'll take the offensive rebound and the bucket. And you pretty much can't take it off the rim in this league. I mean, if you get it up there on the cylinder, it's any person for themselves. That pushes the Lakers back out by three and a huge block in the middle. Offense on one end, defense on the other for Shawnee Brown Jr. Lakers look to push, and it turns into a turnover with an easy bucket for OKC. Yeah, we call that the four-point swing right there. because That pretty much was going to be an easy basket. You could have just got the ball to Huff. Uh, where he lived, it's hard to get on a fast break throwing a bounce pass to a big guy anyway. Uh, but it did turn right back into an easy bucket for OKC. McClung will look to start the offense. He has five early points. Ten on the timer. Huff's going to have to go to work. Nice big chair move. Huff stays with it, dunks it. That's, hey, when you got your little brother on you, you, that's what you're supposed to do. You take him down there and let him have it. I, that was a good, good play by him. He's taking his time and then taking what the defense gives him, recognizing that double team is coming. 
Man answers on the other end for OKC. Huff played his first game with the South Bay Lakers last night. He missed the first two games of the season. He was out with a left ankle sprain. He's a two-way player for this Laker team. Definitely sees plenty of potential in the big man. Here's the plug for three. Book it. Great effort once again, execution-wise. McClung is filling it early. He's a microwave, isn't he? He is. He, he, get it, he get that thing rolling. He does extremely good. I got my little subtle popcorn here. I'm ready for the show. Him and McClung in the back. AC, how much do you like that 11-point lead? Oh, my gosh. I, I, I don't know what this looks like. This is a whole new perspective here. I am loving it. 32 first quarter points, and more importantly, only 21 for OKC as they're now one for six from three. And that was after scoring 10 from behind the arc in the first half last night. So closing out that three-point defense, much better, and overall defense as well. Much improved. Only in the G League, baby. Only in the G League. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look at that. Thank, Jay Hubbard. Thank you very Jay. much. Yes, yes. I'll take it. Jay Huff with the easiest two he'll probably ever get. That pushes the lead out to 13, the largest of the game for South Bay. Horde. Good job getting in the passing lane, but nice hustle from Horde. All for nothing as the Lakers able to come away with it. Shawnee Brown Jr. in the corner for three. That rebound is completely received from Huff's effort. Nothing comes of it as Trey Mann brings it the other way for OKC. Huff blocked at the rim. This edition of Huff versus Wilson yes. goes to Jay Huff. It and does. then the rim run. Hey. Oh love to see gosh. it, defense to offense, and that will draw a timeout. Yes, Grant Gibbs said that's enough. I've seen enough. But Huff and Mr. Shop from the field, I think he's playing a good plus minus game right now. Back on the floor, he joins McClung, Shondi Brown, Mason Jones and Stanley Johnson as the five for South Bay. Love the intensity that the South Bay has come out with thus far. Last night it was a game of runs for both teams. So far, Oklahoma players, if they get an extra day in town or have to stay in town, it's sometimes they call the Hollywood Jinx. And so you get a, you get a young team out here in L.A., uh, sometimes they have a way of not getting enough sleep, and I think that's what I'm seeing right now. Saturday night? What goes on in LA on Saturday night, uh, AC? Uh, well, it's not trick-or-treating, that's for sure. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Lead up to 17 for South Bay. This shot oh, off the mark. Jay Huff with the big rebound. And here comes Stanley Johnson. Johnson needing support, finds it in Mason Jones. 20 points last night for Jones. Huff for three. Wilson picks up the rebound. Okay, see, still scoreless here in the second quarter. Strong move from Paul Watson. As you see, it's nothing but a shoulder, but not extension. So that was enough to get Jay Huff another foul, which I, that's one thing we got to keep an eye on. They need that big man on the court, obviously. But Paul Watson, good job right there, my brother. Jay Huff played in foul trouble last night, had five fouls, was able to stay out of trouble for the remainder of the game. Mason Jones had five fouls as well last night, so South Bay doing a good job playing in foul trouble, but still playing good defense. Only four turnovers for both teams. A very low turnover game so far. Here's Hoare inside to Wilson. Wilson looked around, he found himself alone, but eventually got stripped. Here's a man for three. That's no good as well. Pierre Louis runs down the rebound, and here come the Lakers. McClung in the paint, comes to coast, left handed layup, true. Great pass by Pierre Louis, getting the ball up court, and McClung is attacking like he can. Good move from Trey, man, to answer on the other end for OKC. Yeah, they're, they're, they're trading baskets right now, but Trey Mann once again shows why he's given a lot of good looks up there in the big, as we call the big league, because he can score. Great footwork, great technique. The smallest man on the floor gets an offensive rebound. This is the third time the charm for South Bay. McClung for three. 
Yes, sir. South Bay is knocking down that shot. Stanley Johnson, the extra pass to a wide open, uncontested three-point shot by McClung. That's all you need sometimes, folks. Just share the ball. Look, good things can happen. Lead up to 17 again. Could be 19, a two-on-one for South Bay. Gary Louis gets tied up. Yeah, possession. Trey Mann had an awesome one down there, navigating, going around Huff, but that one right there wasn't quite there. Shawnee Brown Jr., silky smooth in the lane for two. Biggest lead of the game for South Bay at 19. Krejci quickly on the other end, it's short. Trey Mann picks up the offensive yeah, possession. Trey Mann had an awesome one down there, navigating, going around Huff, but that one right there wasn't quite there. Shawnee Brown Jr., silky smooth in the lane for two. Biggest lead of the game for South Bay at 19. Krejci quickly on the other end, it's short. Trey Mann picks up the offensive rebound, found himself in no man's land, and throws up an air ball. South Bay shooting 58% from the field here early. Huge block at the rim by one down there, navigating, going around Huff, but that one right there wasn't quite there. Shawnee Brown Jr., silky smooth in the lane for two. Biggest lead of the game for South Bay at 19. Krejci quickly on the other end, it's short. Trey Mann picks up the offense. Off of South Bay, uh, great intensity right there. You see, he knocked it actually off of Shante Brown. Ends up able to finish on the other end. Yeah, I tell Very you, nice. yeah, that two good possessions right there, back to back. Watson now with seven on the game. One of that was like, whoa, what happened? And so let's see if they can pick back up with him on the court. Uh, that high energy and that great defensive effort. There's a little bit of the defensive effort there. A double team behind those pausing and OKC just coming to the locker and they say we're going to double right off the top. Yes, yes, you definitely know that they are locked in on that defensive effort and really the assignments, period. You see Maladon getting much closer to McClung out here at the top. That forces Jay Huck to go himself. He misses the layup opportunity, but that was a shield right there on Mac McClung, not letting the leading score for the Lakers get open. <laughs> and one at four. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got hit on the pinky also. Does it ever hurt to ask? You know they say never hurt to ask, but do referees really remember that when you ask over and over for a foul call? No, they, 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 they actually they remember you asking, yes, do they ever give it to you? No. <laughs> Tony Brown Jr. answering on the other end with a three, and there's a clung on the floor. Trey Mann somehow gets in the lane. Changes hands midair, unable to get the layup to go. It's an 11 point lead. Brown looking to go back to back for three. Right there's Huck, right place, right time. Yes, once again, the big guy, get your head under that net, make something happen. Just good things happen when you get where you live. Seems like Huff finds himself in those good spots very frequently. And that time he forces a play to make sure our eyes were seen correctly. And we were right. <laughs> the same referee for his last night, too. So maybe they went looking something, <laughs> something to watch out for. DJ Wilson with his six foot pivot. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, hey, the officials, yeah, they, you know, they too are on, on the learning curve here, as we say. They, they, every now and then they might miss one. Corner three is true for Paul Watson Jr. The three ball falling here early in the third quarter for OKC. Yeah, Paul Watson Jr. said, hey, I'm not going to miss that one. Johnson open for three. Three pointers all around. Stanley Johnson this time knocking it down. And threes, threes, threes. Everybody's getting threes. Good close out from Pierre Louis on Melodon. A lot of dribbling. Here's Horde. Watson looking at another three. In and out for Melodon right underneath the basket, lays it in for two. As you say, if the good things happen near that rim, big or small. 
Klung fading away, no good. Here comes Trey Mann. A lot of wild attempts from Trey Mann at the basket. On the glass, it's not a basic layup. So he's making some high difficulty shots, and more importantly, some high difficult attempts. The lead is 13, here comes Stanley Johnson. Throw it up to the big man, Huck. The ball just slips out of McClung's hands. Man will get credited with the steal. Here's Wilson in the paint. Horde. Good hands from Johnson to knock it away. Let's see, because as we said, coming that first unit coming into the uh, beginning of the game, now to start the third quarter, can they build the lead like they did earlier? Dave Brown Jr. off the screen. That's awesome. OKC looks to go quickly as Jay Huff is still having words with the head of Fitchman. Strong move, offensive foul. From his earlier play in the first half, as you see right here, head down, shoulder down, man down. Jonte Brown, good draw on the play. Go strong to the bucket and get the layup, so good call. They are getting his head down, that's why the offensive foul occurred. Ninth turnover on the game for Oklahoma City. Jay Huff out the game. Somebody, somebody's got to take care of this big guy. McClung, Brown, Huff, Johnson, and here Louis the five on the floor for South Bay. Shawnee Brown already with one three on the half. Jay Huff just finds Jay. himself in those spots. That's a skill, finding yourself in those spots underneath the basket. It, it really is. But you know, when you're the, the, once again the biggest guy out on the court, you got to get. Size versus speed. You gotta use it to your advantage. And Huff has been able to do that thus far. Once again, he's trying to get a rim run and credit South Bay for looking for him also. Stanley Johnson in the paint picks up the down there on the low post. He's trying to see how he can take advantage of it. Unable to convert on the one for two opportunity. But able to get a steal right on the other end. Numbers for the Lakers if they push. Pierre Louis rising. The way was 17. Scoring all around. Pierre Louis able to add on two of his own. That's his first point of the game. And that pushes the South Bay lead out to 17. Watson. This time uses his strength and gets to the bucket for two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he leveraged his way to the basket that time and not use his head to create space. But long rising high. That'll work. <laughs> oh, he'll be hearing about that one in the locker room. But he still got the two points out of it. That's what matters, right? Doesn't matter how it looks. This is a results based business, AC. Oh, yeah. 100% correct. Stanley the ball with almost three seconds on the clock with that quick one move, one dribble, and the floater, nothing but that. See the birthday guy right there, Coach Simon, is enjoying what he's seeing. The guys are giving him a birthday present at this time. A wild shot by Melvin Frazier Jr. Rob Edwards. Three. Loves that three-point shot. And look what I found. All the way out to the three-point line this right. time. Scr scrummage underneath the basket. Ball rolls out there. And next thing you know, boom, Mr. Edwards says, I hit this shot. Lakers, you remember those. Absolutely a trend going on today. It is. It really, really is. Late shot clock bass in the corner for three. And every single time Oklahoma City has made a run, the Lakers have had an answer. Yeah, and Paris Bass, it was, it was his time that time to knock down a corner ball. But, but they have, uh, the South Bay Lakers have been playing what you can do, I can do better for some time now. Good effort by Mason Jones attempting to toward it and try to see if I can get my hand involved in it. The lead is 20, we're under two minutes left to go. The Lakers still shooting 52% above 50 for the majority of the game. And so I, I love when the team is responding to what he's asking them to do, which is take your time, move the ball, and find an open player. You share it, good things will happen. 
Edwards has the hot hand for Oklahoma City right now. Yeah, he's keeping them respectable. He really is. He's, he's finding a way to make baskets and at least giving this team a chance. Jones with the stop and pop, and there's that answer once again for South Bay. Yep, that's what you have to do. I mean, it, 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 they can't hit a 20-point shot, and you can't hit a 20-point shot. you got to play each possession now. Sar. Looking to draw another offensive foul with Mason Jones. No whistle blown. Late shot clock for OKC. But Bass is able to come away with the rebound. Lead still at 20. South Bay will look to hold and go two for one. Jones, again, same spot, same result. Patience, patience. I love the way Mason Jones is, he's taking his time those last two possessions and, and taking the shot the defense has given him. That indeed will earn the Lakers the final shot of the quarter. Krejci, got it. A very pure three-point shooter is Vic Krejci. Krejci, he, he, hey, he feels it, lights it up. And give uh, Edwards a lot of credit also for just sharing the ball to the open shooter again. Yeah, that that's not what the, that's not what Coach really wanted to happen. They got away with it. But Able to catch a break. <laughs> to get the final. It wasn't enough to warrant the call. The whistle does get doesn't get blown. It was not a foul, right? That is the truth. Here's man. Going right at Huck. Man, once again, just showing his creativity. They're knowing you got a seven-footer with long arms who's definitely attempting to block this shot. Used his body very well. McClung, corner three. Got it. Great job there by Huff being able to find his find his man. Open in the corner, but McClung and actually it's been about three or four different guys actually been able to hit that corner uh, three ball consistently. But as you see, Wilson's starting to warm up a little bit right here, showing a little inside outside action. That little contest between Wilson and Huff. He saw the disappointment in Huff after he got blown by. He said, "My bad." Yeah, yeah, he did. Now he'll look to answer himself. This is a battle, I'll tell you. Able to draw the for this fourth quarter, just seeing the intensity really hasn't lessened up from neither team. And so, so I actually really like seeing that. Right, she passed up a three for Wilson. Wilson had had the hot hand for the last five for the play. Second opportunity of the possession, man misses as well. I didn't think I would see Krejci pass up a three either. No, no. That was a little surprising. Tawan Kinley in for the first time for the South Bay Lakers. Getting a chance to watch him. Uh, Tawan Kinley from Morgan State. He was acquired in the available player pool. Played in the opener at nine minutes, had two points in those nine minutes. Didn't play the last two games, coach's decision, but able to get in here in the fourth. Now has the ball in the corner. He wants to shoot, you can tell. He sat on the bench for way too long. You gotta get in there and get that shot up. <laughs> it's in 30 minutes. I've been cheering for all y'all. Get this shot up. And you know they support that. They watch him over there on the bench for a long time. Oh, oh heck yeah. Trust me, your teammates are like, oh yeah, dude. Go get all, yours. Yeah. Somebody who'll get his all the time is Rob Edwards. <laughs> this is this time. Henley able to get on the stat sheet with a rebound. He's going at it again. He's waiting too long. So I couldn't get a foul. I've seen fouls called the whole game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that is that is part of if you're been sitting on the bench right now. You're gonna have to earn a little more time, as they call it, from the officials. And a block during the break. I did not get a t-shirt from the Laker girls at all. And people sitting right by us got t-shirts. Yes, am I salty? I am a little <laughs> salty right now. So, I want you somebody to know. come get AC a t-shirt, please. I'm not talking about the t-shirt I got underneath my dress shirt either. I 
I'm on a South Bay Lakers t-shirt. We can work something out, all right? All right, but see what you can put, put a good word in. You're the man around here, not me. You know, if you're the, not getting one, how much? And the official said, you know what? I've been hearing you talk all night long. I would have gone down. I've been down to 12. Yeah, it, it just seems me. like they've been in control. You're right, you're right. But as I say this, never a dull moment and no lead is safe. But as this thing creeps under the two, heading toward the two minute mark and the two minute warning, uh, you start to breathe a little bit easier, your coach Simon and his coaching staff. That was a nice bucket from Shondi Brown Jr. Push that move back out. And his right hip there because he'll, There'll be a nice little sting when you get in that shower, but it's okay. It's a worthwhile sting. Laying it out on the line. Not playing the score, just playing the possession. Gonna get to play these games back to back. You wanna play? It's coming. I would say if the Lakers are able to see this one out, a little danger in the backcourt to be a successful three and one four game homestand for South Bay. Flying to the bucket is Kenley. We're still looking for that bucket. Quickly to the other end. Krejci open for three. We'll see if he passes this one up. So Fake can get to the basket instead. The worst field takes three and hit it. Just like that, you look up, it's a 12-point game. Yep, it is. They're trying to put the pressure up. And early, early foul. So OKC loses their first and has a chance to push the lead back out to 14 for the second made free throw. And he does just that. So no timeouts left for OKC, under two minutes left to go. Edwards. You see in the last two minutes, uh, one for two. First one was true for Edwards, the second one is true as well. So the teams trade a pair of free throws on each side. OKC will sh show some full court. Rebound, rebound. Quick on offense. Not recommended for the Lakers. And now Melodon was to get himself in the paint. The wild floater is so good, but right there on the board was Rob Edwards. And the lead is 10. Johnson's pressured. Wide open under the basket, Pierre Louis. Good find from Stanley Johnson, good cut from Pierre Louis. Great patience right there by Stanley Johnson, not panicking in the middle of a trap. Off balance with Rob Edwards. Mason Jones smartly pulls it back. We're under a minute left to go. And Jones will look to run some clock. OKC already had five games underneath their belt for the Lakers, two coming into this stretch, and then they come into UCLA Health Training Center, and the Lakers were able to come from behind yesterday and then just put it to the blue today. Yes, they did. They, they came out, put their foot on the, the gas pedal, and did not take it off all game long. And give them a lot of credit, but also to the coaching staff for uh, setting the mandate, putting the challenges out there earlier. It's, Coach Simon talked about it at halftime uh, with Christian that, hey, I want these guys to play defense and play early. And they did that exactly. Remember, a new shakeup to the G League this season, playing for that showcase and playing in the regional pod. So every win is big, not like a traditional beginning to a G League season where people are going through the motions, just trying to get your feet underneath you. Yep, exactly. And a little prize. And for this situation, a little prize, that's right. Yes, indeed. So, unsuccessful, or successful challenge, I should say, because it was the Lakers. And so, at the same time, hey, let's keep winning. That's all it comes down to now. Just keep winning a game at a time. And it was nice to see South Bay this time start in the lead, hold that whole lead throughout the entire 48 minutes. Yes, I think they uh, surprised everybody and made everyone happy. 